The sound of the parade taking place, but as that is happening, ten schoolgirls dressed identically in white shirts and black trousers who were taking part began doing silly walks and flinging their arms about. The girls said they were inspired by, quote, the greatest field marshal of English comedy John Cleese and by all that is taught by Monty Python in protesting against what they said was the militarism of the event. Now, what they were referring to is a classic scene from the TV series Monty Python known as the Ministry of Silly Walks sketch. Um, now, you'll have to see the actor John Cleese doing his silly walks to get the full flavour of the comedy. But in the sketch, he plays a bureaucrat at a fictional government department, the Ministry of Silly Walks, which subsidises new forms of silly walking. Here he is speaking to an applicant for funding played by Michael Palin. Good morning. I'm sorry to have kept you waiting, but I'm afraid my, uh, my walk has become rather sillier recently, and so it takes me rather long. Now then, um, what was it again? Well, sir, I, I have a, a silly walk, and I'd like to obtain a government grant to help me develop it. I see. Uh, may I see your silly walk? Yes, certainly, yes. <clears throat> uh, that's it, is it? Yes, that's it, yes. Mm-hmm. It's not particularly silly, is it? I, I mean, the right leg isn't silly at all, and the left leg merely does a forward aerial half-turn, every alternate step. Yes, but I think with, with government backing, I could make it very silly. <laughs> well, to go back to the girls' protest, uh, the mayor of near Philadelphia said it was pathetic and an insult to the memory of those killed defending Greece. Well, I've been speaking to Kostas Douzinas, a Greek professor of law and philosophy and a former MP for the left-wing Syriza party. How did he feel, I wondered, when he saw online footage of the protest. Oh, I felt very proud. I thought it was extremely funny, very much to the point in sending up a kind of tradition that I think it is totally stayed, outdated, uh, it shouldn't happen. Uh, and by tradition, I mean those parades. If you want to understand what is happening exactly, you should imagine having in London uh, twice a year, first the big military parade in the centre of the city, in Trafalgar Square, and then in every borough, school kid parades, remembering or celebrating a particular historical event. This is what happens in Greece every year, twice a year. What the teenage girls did was precisely by sending it up to show, I think, something which is really wrong about the way the Greek education system works and therefore I think to open up a window of opportunity to discuss that wider type of event and activity. What about the importance of continuing to remember those who died fighting for Greece against would-be foreign occupiers? This is extremely important and I think it is being done in a proper way in a few central events which I think deserve the full respect of the people and also remind younger generations what important events in the nation's history, important incidents of resistance, of fighting and so on. Things like that of course have to happen mm. but they have to be numbered, respectful and give the appropriate type of honouring to the history of a nation and I think, of course, to the dead of a nation. But, the point, but the point being made here is that the schoolgirls who did what they did were disrespecting the people who went through that experience. No, this is absolutely not true. They were using this occasion, which, as I said, is repeated uh, so many times that it becomes, you know, sort of really itself disrespectful, using this occasion to remind people that resisting against outdated forms of authority is part of the nation's history, as of course is theatre. It was a performance. It was a theatrical performance. It was a funny act which happened in the street, a happening. In that sense, I think it spoke both to the fact that the Greeks are to use a kind of rather strange term, the children of Antigone, Antigone being the first major heroine of resistance against state power, but also the place where in Athens here in Athens, the place where the theatre was invented in the Western world, of course, and had such great importance. Those girls, I think, combined two great Greek traditions, and to that extent, I think, they honoured also the dead and the contemporary Kostas Duzinas, Greek professor of law and philosophy, former MP. Uh, from what I have in front of me, I know you both share 
uh, an appreciation of Monty Python, but I don't think you're going to agree on what the schoolgirls did. Um, Vicky Price, what do you think? I have to say that I, I agree with just uh, with what has just been said. Uh, w after uh, reading about the story, I watched the video as well and, uh, and also talked to a few Greeks. And I have to say that the overwhelming response of, you know, educated, you know, Greeks was that uh, actually uh, the girls did an, an amazing thing and they were incredibly courageous. To Not disrespectful at all? Not disrespectful and at the end of of sort of um, uh, militarism, if you like, that, or, 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 or uh, uh, basically uh, looking at militarism and, and assuming that that's the way in which, uh, you know, a nation should be judged on, if you like, mm. um, is, is wrong. And, and that's what they did. They didn't do the silly walk particularly well, I have to say. It takes practice. Um, but I, think, I think there is, there's an interesting uh, parallel, though, because the ancient Greeks, since he was mentioned in the yes. theatre, uh, a famous play where women withheld sex from their men uh, to stop them going to war. Um, Miguel Ancho, where do you stand? Well, I, I saw the, the video as well. I, honestly, I, I, I saw it as a prank um, and I think they glorify their prank with the politics, but it was a prank. In my, in my view, they, was, they were just having fun. And what I, fi what I find ironic is that, um, uh, yes, perhaps in, in Greece there is an excess of solemnity and remembrance, but um, the irony is that the, the girls also executed an exercise of remembrance because they buried a very old uh, a classic of uh, British comedy. Um, yes. So, in Which a way, I think you we appreciated all when you first saw it as well. Oh, yes. very much. Very uh, much I, so. I fell in love with Britain <laughs> thanks to, <laughs> to, to Monty, Monty Python. Python. Many yes. did. Um, more to come from Vicky and from Miguel Ancho in the final half hour. You're listening to Weekend from the BBC World Service. The news is next.